This is a rotor arm for a car's ignition system and it's 3D printed. You can see here that it's actually made of a few different parts. These yellow ones are embedded in the body. Today I'm going to show you how to embed parts like this in your 3D prints with a couple of different methods. There are timestamps in the description so you can find what you need. So on a working rotor arm, the body would be made of moulded plastic and these inserts would have been made out of copper and steel. It's worth noting that we can actually print in copper and a range of steels, either with the FX10 here or with the Metal X on the other side of the show. But since this is just a proof of concept, we've printed the body out of Onyx, which is our nylon-based material, and PLA uh, just to keep our costs down. As you can see, they're completely enclosed, so they can't actually be removed. Now, we achieved this by pausing the print partway through in multiple locations to embed the parts. And the software that we use to do this is Markforge Eiger. So you'll need to select the layer that you want to pause on, uh, and when you do, make sure that the top of the insert will be perfectly level with the layer that you're on. When the pause happens, you can simply remove the print bed from the printer and then press the insert into the parts. So removing the print bed mid-print like this doesn't affect the quality of the finished parts, and that's because of a clever location system that's been developed by Mark Forged. When you put the print bed back, it will simply click into place and it will still be within a few microns of where you took it. Now for this rotor arm, there were two parts embedded, one in the base and one on the top here. So we just repeated the same process again. Remove the print bed, pop the piece in, and then put the print bed back, that simple. And there's the finished part. The supports just pull away and the surface finish is nice and smooth across both materials. The 3D printer that we used for this process was the Markforged Mark II, but the same process is applicable to other Markforged 3D printers as well. 